Uh, Mr Speaker, Rugby Job Centre Plus was one of the first to go to full service universal credit and the staff there have been providing support to their colleagues in other offices. Very important at a time when registrations are running at six times their usual level. I know the Secretary of State will join me in thanking all of the staff for their hard work to make certain that the system runs smoothly. But I wonder if I could ask her what her assessment is of what might have happened if we hadn't taken the tough decisions to modernise and streamline the welfare system and we were still operating under the highly complicated legacy system. Secretary of State. Well, Mr Speaker, I have to say there's some unkind words. I wonder if my honourable friend is seeking his pension, uh, judging by his uh, new uh, yeah, 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 attire. Yeah, yeah. However, um, Mr Speaker, the, uh, he asks a serious question, uh, which serves a serious answer. The reality is, and I've been told this by my senior officials, there is no way that the historic legacy benefit system would have been in any way able to cope with the situation that we have had. The move to universal credit has been successful, uh, and we would still want to make sure it rolls out uh, universally, uh, but I think there is, it has shown that it has absolutely stood the biggest test of all.